Good morning. It's time for Daily Chapel at the LCMS International Center in St. Louis. The text is Isaiah chapter 7, verses 10 through 14. The Reverend Gregory Alms is preaching. The broadcast of Chapel is underwritten by LCMS International Mission and Ministry to the Armed Forces. A reading from Isaiah, the seventh chapter. Again, the Lord spoke to Ahaz, Ask a sign of the Lord your God, let it be deep as Sheol or high as heaven. But Ahaz said, I will not ask. I will not put the Lord to the test. And he said, Hear then, O house of David, is it too little for you to weary men that you weary my God also? Therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Over the centuries, there have been numerous attempts here and there to jettison the virgin birth, to cut it out of uh, Christian teaching. It's a, and it's an ancient fable. It's a, a backwards bit of uh, uh, ancient mythology. Can't we have a, a more up-to-date, modern, uh, rational, enlightened presentation of the Christian faith. Such attempts founder on several fronts, not the least of which is the fact that, well, it's uh, there in the Bible. So uh, that could be a problem. Uh, the doctrine of the virgin birth is important for us as Christians in many ways. In fact, it is crucial. But one particular way that it is important in the faith and to us is suggested to us by the hymn that we just sang, Savior of the Nations Come. And one phrase uh, in that hymn, that hymn is largely a meditation on this verse, Isaiah 7:14. It's largely a meditation on the incarnation of God. Ambrose via Luther, via whoever the English translators were in LSB, focuses in on the virgin-born Son of God coming to us. And that one phrase in particular, which opens a window to us on one important way, uh, uh, one important reason uh, that the virgin birth is important, is that phrase is that our God, the Lord, chose such a birth. Uh, our God chose such a birth. The little phrase brings us face to face with this truth that God was born of a virgin and it was messy and it was human. It was such a birth as this. One might imagine that such a birth was beneath God, not fitting. But Ambrose says the opposite. He says that this kind of a birth Virgin, pure, holy, yes, without sin, but messy and humiliating and human, that kind of a birth is exactly fitting for the true and only God. Jesus, God himself, the second person of the Trinity, has not come to us and does not come to us now in some sort of clean, antiseptic way. Christ does not enter this chaotic and evil world. He does not enter your chaotic and evil lives as some sort of digital download where you click on your computer or you tap your phone and poof, he appears. He is the virgin birth, the appearance of Christ, the coming of our Lord is not a trick. It is not a, it is not a mirage to say that Christ is uh, born of a virgin is not an end run around human misery or sin uh, or the truth of how our lives actually unfold. In fact, it is the opposite. The virgin birth of our Lord is an entrance into sin and misery, our sin and misery. One reason that the virgin birth is important is that it shows us the kind of a God that we have. And that kind of a God is one who chooses such a birth as this. Here is the kind of God we have. Here is the, the God that we see. 
holy and powerful, yet he makes his home in the womb of Mary, a most unlikely throne for the divinity. But that is exactly something that God would do, the Christian God, the God of the scriptures. It is like him. It is fitting for that God, most high and powerful, to enter the world with no pomp or display, to enter human existence in a dirty stall, with his royal fanfare and his announcement being labor and delivery and travail and difficulty. That is the kind of God we have. One who, while sinless and innocent and righteous and pure, yet comes to us as an infant, a child, a baby, powerless with nothing. That is to say, he comes as one of us in all respects, save sin. The virgin birth shows us the one and only true God, the Creator, the Holy One, immortal, righteous, and small and powerless. Our God chooses a birth like this and a life like this, surrounded by sin and by what sin does. Our God is the kind of God who does not turn away from mess and humiliation. He's not a God who, who sees birth and sin and tears and bleeding and death and must hold himself apart because he is, after all, God. No, the triune God, the true God, makes his home right there in order to bear the chaos, in order to make it his own, to bear the sin, to defeat it, to conquer it, to suffer for it, and finally to do away with it. That our God chose such a birth. The virgin birth does not show us a God who is squeaky clean, pure, immaculate somehow, shiny. No, just the opposite. He is in the middle of our mess and our misery and our weakness. He chooses this birth for us and for our salvation because that's the kind of God that he is. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Thank you for joining us for Chapel. The broadcast of Chapel is underwritten by LCMS International Mission and Ministry to the Armed Forces. To learn more about LCMS International Mission and Ministry to the Armed Forces, visit kfuo.org chapel.